the money, you know what it is. Two for the show. <laughs> Yeah, we shut it down Three, just to make sure you ready Four, let them know that we run this town One for the money, you know what it is Hey guys, welcome to the lab uh, We are back with some more exclusive content for you guys We are rounding off round one of Who's the Hat God 6 tournament uh, Week 5 just wrapped up um, I'm filming this before I have the results Because we are launching uh, seven new pre-orders as of right now. So if you head to promagesports.com and search HG6, you'll see the seven hats that we're about to go through uh, up for pre-order. Now, these pre-orders are going to last until Wednesday, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, and uh, we will tabulate the results, and the next uh, 12, the top 12 uh, from round one will move on to round two. So um, not ideally how we drew it up, but it, uh, we are where we are. So um, eight hats just wrapped up uh, their pre-order. And those lasted from Friday all the way until yesterday night. So we're still waiting for the results um, of those. In the meantime, I put together this video. So this is going to highlight the last seven uh, contestants in round one. So um, hope you guys enjoy their story. And then I will uh, come back and um, review afterwards. So. Um, yeah, without further ado, the next seven um, designers that will be up for pre-order at the end of the show uh, for round one, week five. Hey guys, welcome to the lab. We are back with some more exclusive content. Today we're joined by 520 Cap Collector, also known as Parker. Parker, how are you doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Good, man, good. Um, we are here to congratulate you first and foremost. You've you've made it um, into Hack God 6. Um, and uh, we're going to take this video to kind of get to know you a little bit better, um, kind of figure out your roots and kind of why you wanted to um, enter. So first and foremost, who are you, where are you from, and um, how long have you been uh, collecting hats? All right. My name's Parker. Um, I'm originally from uh, Oregon. Uh, I've been out in Arizona for five years now. Okay. So my main collections are Arizona and Seattle. Mm -hmm. Um but since I've been here, it's literally just D-backs for the most part. Nice. Um, I've been collecting for about a year and a half. Okay. I've been doing my own pins now for a little over a year. Cool. So, What what made you um, kind of discover Hat God? How did you find, find out about it? Just through Instagram and the community, people sharing okay. it. Um, I started watching on last year's Hat God 5, so awesome. I tried to get in, but we're here now. Yeah, you're here. You're here. Yeah, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, but I've kind of seen your work uh, on the outside, a little bit of like your own independent stuff. So I'm happy you kind of got in so you can kind of expand your um your network a little bit more. And yeah. you know, um, you know, I'm happy to see you do it. So unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, um, no one would have ever predicted the snake pit that we got. So you have added to this problem. Um you, no one would have predicted, so I don't. I don't fault you for it, but at the end of the day, I don't think any bad Arizona hats got in anyway. So mm -hmm. let's uh, let's do a breakdown. So you are making this very nice Arizona Diamond Bars hat. So we starting off with a black, um, a black crown and a green undervisor. Always good, and then. We got the breakdown here. So tell me a little bit about this design and what made you want to make this hat. Uh, like honestly, um, I've noticed a lot of um, hats this last like six months coming out have a lot of copper in it. Mm -hmm. um, and like honestly, my favorite is the metallic green, and I think it just goes really well together. And that's why I picked yeah. like the whole uh, Voldemort uh, kind of Death Eater theme to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you say you're originally from Oregon, now in Arizona. Um, were you watching a lot of the, the playoffs last year? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. I still don't know why you guys pitched to Adolis. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to bring it up. Oh, but man, it's horrible. Yeah. Watching it, 
because I'm I'm a Blue Jay fan, so I know mm-hmm. who Miguel Castro is. He he was on our team when we traded. Um, oh yeah, I believe he was in the Roy Holiday team. No, he was in like a pretty big deal for us to acquire him, and he's like a good arm. But in no situation should he have been pitching in such a high leverage to a Dolies, yeah. especially since they were the bottom. And man, they you could have just put him on, man. You could have just put him on. I don't know why. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember yelling at my TV. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh yeah, that's fair. But you guys got a really young team. I mean, we gifted you, uh, gave Gabriel Mourinho, so yep. that's, that still stings a little bit. And uh, you guys are re-signed Lourdes, who's one of my favorite players. Um, and then you also have Corbin Carroll, so go Asians. Yep. All right, so I'm just gonna take your work and pretty much just put it on him on the hat. Right. Um, this combo, man. Um, you're using two of the my favorite um metallics too, so copper and green. Oh yeah, I think this I just think it just shine. it goes so well together. Yeah, this is gonna shine. Do you have a favorite uh, D bass player? I really don't. No, just because like I'm kind of like fresh new into being a D backs fan. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, not really. Oh, so one thing about this logo: if you use the larger one, you're gonna need to add an extra um, outline. Okay. To it. So, is there a, a color you prefer? Probably white. I would assume. Probably. Yeah, let's go white. Yeah. That's one thing. Like the the style guide, for whatever reason, doesn't include the outline. But when you go and make it, there is an outline there. So, yeah, gotta make sure to include it. And why isn't this going away? There you go. Just do a glow. Use glow, right? Uh, no. It just... I think it was just uh, the fluorescent. Fluorescent. Oh, I think it was. Okay. Yeah. Cool. How long um does it take you to make a mock up? Uh, 20, 30 minutes. Oh, that's nothing. So, what's your process like? Are you a computer guy? Or are you doing it on the uh, Procreate iPad? Procreate? Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I saw it. I've tried Photoshop. I just, I don't know. I don't have the time, I guess, to like get everything figured out in it. I'm in the process of kind of trying to um, migrate over to uh, Illustrator. Okay. And it's fun, but it's hard to. Oh, yeah. So, like, everything you need to work in Vector, but everything cleans so much. Um, so, I mean, everything colors so much cleaner. Oh, yeah. So much color. What the hell? Oops. All right, let's not do that again. How long have you been uh, doing mock ups for? Gotta be close to 12 years, dude. That's so crazy. That's cool. The, the way I start, well, maybe not that long, maybe 10 years. So the way I started, I used to work for this company called Multiview, and we played a lot of sports. Mm-hmm. So the the buyer for the company so we used to like we used to earn like fake money called m bucks and they would make us like company gear like polos or little t-shirts or whatever but anyway that buyer was she worked for the cowboys so she was also the buyer for the cowboys so she somehow used like jerry jones's like account to like get that baseball team so i'm from canada but the the main office was from Irving, Texas. So she used that base, like that account to make baseball hats. Okay. And one year, New Era had sent um, us the wrong color. So we used uh, like a royal blue, but they sent us navy blue. So they're like, they're supposed to like send the hats back, but they ended up like not. I guess they just got credit for it or whatever. Yeah. And then basically, um, what was I trying to say? So basically, they gave us the shitty hats, like the off-color hats. So then the the coach ended up leaving, and then I ended up as kind of like assuming coaching duties. 
So then when he left, I was like, fuck, like, I love hats. Like, let's try to make a custom hat. So I took okay. the hats and I, and I shopped them around to the different sports accounts. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, I'm the coach for Canada. This was our account last year. Can I, like, buy from you? Like, I'm the Canadian coach. This is the American hat. And they're like, yeah, sure. So I started making hats for the team. And then when I started posting them, people wanted to buy them. I was so confused. Like, you want to buy my softball hat? Like, yeah. <laughs> so then I That's started cool. doing it more and then more and more. And then that same, like, job, we ended up playing basketball, volleyball. And, and I'd make up different things. I'd do that Chinese New Year. So this is, like, the sixth version of the Chinese New Year hat we did, like the Lunar okay. New Year. It started cool. back there with uh, the year, uh, year of the pig, like, six years ago. So I was like, I just like That's found cool. different reasons to do like hats and stuff. And eventually, like I bought so many that one of the reps was like, hey, you should start your own brand. And I did. So I did that. And, That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So like the reason why I started mocking up was because like the I couldn't wait for the like the rep to tell me or to send me like the mock-ups back. So I would just make up these like fake mock-ups on like outlook <laughs> and that's just kind of how i did it and i just learned and whatever and then it kind of just spread but yeah that's my story thank you that's cool yeah but uh either way this thing is nice so i can't wait for you to get it in hand man this is a great looking hat so you have anything to say to the people kind of before we we head off just appreciate everybody voting for me uh mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun. Hope I make it to the second round because yeah, I man. do have more heat. Yeah, that's awesome. So I like seeing um, kind of people come back and compete year year after year after year. But then I also like seeing new blood in the competition. So Parker, man, good luck to you. I hope awesome. you got big plans in case you um, uh, make it into the money rounds. You're probably spending on hats anyways. So <laughs> yeah, either way, oh, yeah, the way it's been, oh, it's gonna go right back in. Yeah, but, yep. yeah. I mean, I'm the same too. So. Um, either way, man, best of luck to you. Um, I'm glad we were able to kind of connect on a more personal level. Um, but yeah, for Parker and Leon, we out of here. Thank you. Have a good one. Hey, guys, we are back in the lab. Um, we are talking today to Jew Fitted 24. Julian, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Man? Good, man. You've made it um, past a couple hundred entries. You've uh, been selected and uh, voted into Hat God 6, so congratulations on making it to the contest. How are you feeling? I'm doing good. I'm excited. Yeah. I was nervous. Awesome. You know, it was, it was a battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm definitely ready for the next round and see what else it brings. Cool. Um, tell me a bit, a little bit more about yourself. Like uh, where are you from, how long you've been collecting hats for, and, and what got you started into designing? So I'm from Utah, and I originally from Houston, but I moved out here to U Utah, and I've been into hats and stuff, you know what I'm saying, a lot, big Astro fan in general, and uh, started collecting hats probably about five, six years ago, and had to stop because I had kids, so responsibilities came first, you know what I'm saying, and here I found myself a year later trying to buy hats, and everything sells out too damn quick. <laughs> so I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'll peak game on a few people and I seen these people doing mock ups and whatnot. So I was like, why why not try to do something, you know what I'm saying, myself and help other people out that can't really hit when the when a hat drops, you know what I'm saying? Maybe help people do some pre orders and, and whatnot like that. And that's just pretty pretty much where I got where I got to at that point is where I'm at cool. now. Cool. Um, what, what are some of the hat stores you like copping from? Uh, I really don't have too much of a, of a favorite hat story. I just pretty much hit and miss whichever hat I can really hit for for the for the mm -hmm. most part. You know what I mean? Mm. Do you have like any favorite designers or particular uh, people you like copping from? I want to say, I mean, when it comes to trying to follow designers and stuff, that part's all new to me. I'm okay, trying to keep up with all that and all that. Uh, the main one that really stands out was Texas Fitted, just because he I know okay. he's real popular out, out there in Houston area. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, you got into the contest um with this awesome 
Houston Astros hat. So let's let's break this down a little bit. So um, I know we spoke a little bit off camera. So we're gonna try or do our best to get it as close to your vision as possible. Just know, let it be known that uh, the drip logo might not be available in the back. So in the event that it does not get approved, we're gonna be switching to a regular looking Batterman. But other than that, um, this is a really clean um, little mock up here. Uh, Tell me a little bit more about this design. Thank you, thank you. It's just it, it was based off of uh, the all of the nine Jordans. You know what I mean, coming out the dropping mm -hmm. this year, and mm -hmm. I, I love that that olive color in general. I think mm -hmm. it's a, it's a nice, real clean color, and I figured you know what I mean. Why not try to? This was one of the just playing around, really. You know what I mean. But I got a real a lot of love on it from Instagram. Cool. So on the last day of the competition, I was like, might as well give it a go. Yeah, so you were one of the last, I think the last day we took in like four people, I believe. Yeah. We had one slot to fill, and then there was three additional. So that's pretty cool. Um, one thing I had a question about looking at your design. Uh, is this a two-tone flag, or just uh, you just want the metallic red? Just the metallic red with the okay, tone on cool. it. Okay, cool. And then for your uh, glow in the dark, you only want the words to glow, nothing else? The words and the batterman and the ball. Okay, all right, cool. So whatever white, it will be glow in the dark. Exactly, correct. Okay, all right, cool. And then and then we're going to – go ahead. Sorry, cut you off. Oh, no. And then on the globe, on the on the World Series, we're going to do that, uh, that metallic black pearl. Yep, you got that here. All right, so we're going to color in a batterman just in case the drip logo doesn't get approved. Uh, okay. How would you color that in? Let's go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, how do you want to color it? I'm trying to get it next to your threads. Sorry. No, you're good. Let's do the... Let's do the gold baddie, batterman, mm -hmm. with the gold ball, mm -hmm. and then we'll do the we'll do the black on the sides. So just like that. Yeah, yeah, that metallic black pro. Yes, sir. Yeah, metallic black pro. All right, perfect. So your your. Uh, your front logo is going to be metallic red, metallic gold, and glowy white. So that little inline here is glow white, and then this little outline is glow white. Uh, yeah, this is a clean one. This is a clean one. One, two, three. Yeah, this is going to be good. You have anything to say to the people before uh, before we sign off here? No, not really. Just pretty much just if you guys have a, a vision, stick to it and, and push. You know what I mean? Don't Don't let anyone criticize you or tell you no or or put you down just mm -hmm. motivate yourself harder to go i like that message man it's it's good to see new blood kind of jump into the contest so i wish you uh nothing but luck hopefully you got some big plans if you make it into the money round but regardless you made it this far and uh we'll get to see one of the, one of your creations come to fruition so that's what's exciting about the contest for me, exactly yeah. and yeah regardless you know i got some things working and and some more designs coming all right, good stuff. For uh, Julian and Leon, we out of here. Peace. Cool, thank you. Hey, guys, welcome to the lab. We are back with some more exclusive content. We are joined today by Nico Sosa. Nico, how are you today? What's up? What's up? I'm good. I can't complain. Happy to be here. Yeah. Um, You were last year's, I don't want to call you Mr. Irrelevant because that's not the same thing as a draft, but you were the guy that snatched the last spot last year. Um, yeah. You rode that wave all the way to the final. And uh, you're back again this year. So congratulations on being one of the back-to-back -back contestants in Hat God. But, uh, yeah, welcome to Hat God 6. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Last year was crazy. I could, I say it a lot, but I can't believe that I made it that far. I really like it. Yeah. I was trying to come up with mock-ups on the fly because usually people got stuff tucked. But I was like, man, I didn't expect to make it that far. I got some stuff tucked away, but I was like, this, this ain't good enough for this far in the competition. So this time around... I was hesitant on joining. I only this is only my second uh, mock-up that I submitted for the competition because I was like, man, I don't know. But 
I was I knew what 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 it took basically. I knew what the people would vote for, and I knew what they wouldn't. So, yeah, I'll say this time I'm I'm I'm, I'm more prepared, more seasoned. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've had some time to kind of um, build yourself up as a as a designer. I think at the time of Hack Odd filming, you had just submitted your like first FNF, but um, you were kind of newish to the game. Now you're like that wily vet. So does that feel different going into this year's contest? Just knowing like kind of having an advantage on like, you know, uh, the rounds and what it takes and just the marketing push and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I would say a little bit. Yeah. I feel like I'm still a ghost though. Man. I feel like a lot of people don't really know who I am. I don't, I don't put my face out there. I don't really, I barely even post the hats. I get a lot of, I got a lot of FNFs and stuff. People probably don't even know that I got them because I, I don't post it, but yeah, I, I feel like a little more of a vet you could say just because, I don't know if these guys that's in the competition and congrats to them. They got a lot of stuff too, and I'm sure they got FNF. So, I mean, yeah, we're all here and for a reason. But yeah, it feels good to be back for a second year for sure. Yeah, this year you have a built-in advantage. Last year we had to do a lot of uh, um, partitioning, I guess, of the Houston's, the Texas, like the Rangers were on a, on, on a crazy roll. So everyone yeah. wanted to do Ranger hats, and then um, the Cleveland script comes to mind. It was like really, really popular. This time. You going against all the snakes, so it's like the snake pit <laughs> almost. So um, you don't have to compete so much with like um, other Astros hats. I think Chandon comes to mind, but um, there's not that many other um, Astros and uh, even Rangers submissions. So that should kind of help you like kind of stick out a little bit more too. So that might be advantage for you. Oh yeah, for sure. Shout out C Neil. We're gonna we're trying to bring it back home to Texas, man. But yeah, I'm definitely. <laughs> Definitely going to try to target the Texas crowd, my Houston family. I'm, I'm going to try to get in. If I make it far enough, try to get in a, a, a hat that's more personal to me. I usually don't do that. I try to make stuff mm -hmm. that everybody can like. But, yeah, yeah so that's, that Houston, Texas target, is that's definitely been on my mind. All right. I'm excited for you. All right. So enough of the chit-chat. Let's get to work on kind of uh, putting your hat together. So you got in to the competition with this amazing Baltimore Orioles uh, hat. Tell me a little bit about this design. What made you want to make this happen? Man, I call this the Sky High O's just because it's really no inspiration. It's just I was on a flight. People always want to say you got – it's got to be – I heard Tempo talking about the – I don't want to name job, but I heard him talking on his live talking about all the hats and stuff. He was saying that patch has got to be a story behind it. That Those colors are just out of line. I'm like, man – why do you have to have a story to every hat? Why does everything have to be hooked to something? If I want to use these colors, they're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. you, maybe you've never seen it on a hat, but it might come out, and I feel like it's going to come out crazy. So, But I just call this the Sky High O's. I was on a flight to Atlanta, so I chose red, black, and then I went with the O's. I don't know why. I just I don't know. I haven't done an O's hat ever. This was my first O's mock-up, so I wanted nice. to be a little different. Nice. This is a beautiful hat. So you went with like a, yeah, Chicago Bulls red, black, green under. Um, you already got the colors picked out for me, so I don't really have to do anything on this one other than kind of admire your work. But uh, <laughs> I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, man. So I do want to put uh, copper on the on the bat. I'm sorry to jump. To no, you good. All right, on the baddie, I want to switch that the purple to copper. All right. So Please. dark melody. I was just gonna compliment you. I said I was about to say dark melody. I never seen that used. So I want to keep it on the patch, but on the on the batterman, I want to go more kind of not simple but subtle. That's easy. That's an easy change. Oops. All right. So that's an easy change. Yeah. This is this one's gonna shine. 50th anniversary. Yeah. O's. Interesting. You went with the O's with no outline. It's gonna look a lot cleaner with the copper though. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Uh, shout out Kathy. Uh, he, I got his. Oh, I, I forgot where it dropped. For the the black and uh brown. I think it's walnut with the copper O. I said, yeah, I need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely pops. Yeah, this is smooth. All right, man. I I, I wish you nothing but the best, man. You made it to the final <clears throat> of last year. I think you edged out. Um, you edged out fourth place for for a little bit of the prize money, which is still not bad. Still a little chunk of change, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I think the difference good, was like good. one or two hats between uh, second, third, Man. and fourth. It was very close. Man, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Triple D, I, I think it was. That, uh, yeah, for real. Red. Oh, no, it was, uh, yeah, it was Dome Pieces, right? I yeah, Mr. Dome Pieces had. was second yeah. place. He had yeah. the Scorpions. Yeah, then me, then J9, I think. 
Oh, Jay right Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Nine. Yeah, he had the uh, he had the Toronto in the other round. I think he had the St. Louis the round after. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. definitely St. Louis. I think it was like a dark gray color, with a brown yeah. brim. Yeah, yeah. So he's doing some good one. stuff now. Too. <clears throat> You're the only one from the finals to requalify um, through the voting process, so um, that takes a lot, man. It's it's cool to see some um, new blood come in the competition, and it's also cool to see some repeat um, contenders. So um, hopefully, you uh, remain a staple in the competition. I love having you in the community, and uh, nothing but positive stuff. I've never heard you say a bad thing about anybody. So, <laughs> um, I try not to, man. I try to keep it positive. If I got something negative yeah. to say, I say it to my fiance and my kids or something. I won't <laughs> keep, keep it off the internet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, man. Well, I wish you, um, again, like I wish you nothing but the best. Hopefully you make it far in the tournament. And, uh, yeah, for everyone else, watch out for Nico because uh, he almost won it last time, and he's coming for the crown this year. So for oh. Nico and Leon, we out of here. Peace. Hey guys, we're back with more Hack God content. Today we're joined by Ramzo. How are you doing today? Good, good. Good. You uh, beat out a couple hundred people to get into the contest, so congratulations on making it to Hack God 6. Really excited to get you uh, in here in the lab and kind of learn a little bit more about you. I believe this is the only, now correct me if I'm wrong, this is the only, well for sure it's the only River Cats hat. Is it the only minor league hat that made it into the contest? Yeah, Okay. it's the only one. All right, so you're repping for the minor leagues. That's cool. Um, tell me a little bit more about you. Um, where are you from? How'd you get into um, designing hats? So I grew up in uh, Queens. Yeah. New York. Seven one eight. Uh, yeah, I grew up there until I was about like sixteen. Then I moved out to LA Word. with my, my my family. So I got I guess first I got into uh, pins. So I started making pins first. And once, uh, you know, I got established into that, I started seeing people started designing and, you know, it drew, it drew my interest, you know. So especially because, like, a lot of things, like, like me, my mom's from Nicaragua, you know, so I don't see, like, anybody really doing much anything, you know, that's Nicaragua. That's why I started my pins. Like, I started doing Nicaraguan little pins, flag pins. And then uh, I started doing a, a mock-up for, like, Nicaragua, you know, hats. Mm -hmm. That's really, like, why I started because, you know, I, nobody – I've never seen it, you know, done before. Yeah. That's far. That's far. So uh, what, what made you um, want to join Hat God? Well, I was, I was doing good in the pre-order madness, you know, so I figured why not try, you know. I tried for, like, three days, and then on day three – you know, I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. All right, so let's uh let's get into it. So, you got into the contest, um, like I mentioned, with the only minor league cat, uh, in 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 the field. So we're gonna talk about your design right here, real quick. So let me just share my screen. I didn't share my screen. All right. So we are here with a blank slate. I'm going to bring in your uh, Sacramento River Cats um, design right now. Can you tell me a little bit more about what inspired you to make this? Well, I just had a road trip where my 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 girlfriend won a, a tattoo giveaway. So we drove literally to Sacramento mm -hmm. because that's where the artist was. And it's just dope. Like the drive from here. I live in I live in South Central L.A., like Inglewood. Yeah, so, yeah. Driving from all the way over here to Sacramento, it's it's a long, you know, drive. So right. see a bunch of, you know, trees and forests and it's just yeah. dope, you know. What kind of, what kind of um what style of tattoo did she win? Uh she got a she got a nest the Demon Slayer tattoo. She got okay. a full a full like half sleeve, like on Holy top shit. is uh Tanjiro okay. and then the bottom is Nesuko. Right, right, right. So it's like a cartoon almost like yeah. a uh, awesome. And anime. Yeah. My last, uh, my last tattoo, I was at a lowrider, um, oh, nice. in Orange County. Uh, it cost me a, a pretty penny, but those guys are, if you like black and gray and stuff, those guys are the best <laughs> tattoo artists. Yeah, all my tattoos are black and gray. Yeah, yeah, for the most part, me too. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. all right, cool. Uh, Sacramento River Cats. All right, so one thing, uh, first I want to know, uh, we cannot do the new Batman yet. So minor league baseball wants to break that out, so we're gonna have to recolor that okay. for you. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah, that's not big. Deal. Um, 
So you got real tree black. What kind of red is your under? It's a uh, burgundy. Burgundy. Like okay. Burgundy. All right. I always struggle with that color. I always mix up maroon and burgundy. So we'll make sure we get the right one for you. So I don't pick the wrong one. So to me, the reds. To me, this color always look bur. No, this color always look maroon, and this color looks burgundy to me. So is, is yeah. yours more the cardinal? Or yeah, the it's more. It's more of the cardinal. More yeah. the cardinal. Okay, yeah. cool. Because there's also your your color here kind of looks almost brick too. So yeah, it kind of almost brick. Brick. Yeah. So you're good with the cardinal red. Yeah, no. whichever is the best best match, you know. All right. So here. I was prepared for your question, not knowing. So here's some options, right? So I believe this is the cardinal. This is the maroon, I think. And then this is the brick. So it would be the you're good with this this one? Yeah. I okay. think that's the that's the best one. All right. And then this is scarlet. So like yeah, that's 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 yeah. red, red. Yeah, red, red. All right, cool. So cardinal, all right, cool. Um, the metallics you use, you use uh, metallic red. Is this regular and, black? Yeah, I use metallic red and uh, metallic black. It's crazy because I well, when I make mockups, I I use them. I make them on my phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how to make them on a computer, but I'm assuming it's similar, right? Uh, what do you? What program do you use? I use Procreate. Okay. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know how to use that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to use that shit. Because so, you're using Photoshop, right? Yeah, I use Photoshop. How long does it take you to do one mockup? Rough, roughly like like 20 to 30 minutes oh that's too bad yeah because i don't i don't usually start making mock-ups unless i have something in mind already you know where where, where? who are some of your uh, favorite designers uh I, I i since i started well when i first got into like designing i was looking a lot into into um Fox Hills Mall, Abrams. I Edward, like yeah. I like a lot of the hats that he has. I know a lot of guys from New York that design that I, that I I like their designs like Papa Goose. Um, mm -hmm. That's the homie. Yeah, I like his designs. I got uh, Benjamin Chase. The City Boys just had a drop today. And uh, Renards, mm -hmm. Caps and Kegs. Uh, yeah, bunch of bunch of good designers. Like Tiempo's good too. Like I, I bought a couple of uh, Tiempo hats. Uh, I bought uh, a couple of Halo Halo fittings from from last. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got. Yeah, he's, I, I, got, good. I liked a couple of his designs too, and uh, Mr. Dome pieces. Oh hell yeah! Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man. You need you need all good people, man. Good people. Yeah, and so, um, before, like, I would start making mock-ups myself, I would get my mock-ups from Filthy Fitted. It's, it's funny, because he made it in, too, in Hot God 6. Oh, where? So, yeah, yeah Fil Filthy. He, he He's the one that made it in with the with the Cubs hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we did his we did his uh one a couple days ago. Yeah. yeah he's cool. I used to get my mockers from him before I started. Before I, I figured out how to do it myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So shout out to Filthy. Shout out to him, man. Yeah, he's he's got some heat on the way. That yeah. club, that Cubs is clean, man. I love that like red, kind of brownish tan, kind of red, black, gold kind of colorway. You know, can't go wrong with that brown, red stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I was looking for some hats that. Like any river cat hats that you know were real tree, and I couldn't find any. No, there's. I mean, even just getting river cat hats is just not. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. I had one where I wanted to do. Well, I, I was doing it on Leon in a lab with my friend Nick, um, and 
they blocked one of their logos. You can like they're the only ones that can use it. Mm-hmm. So we mocked up a whole hat and did a whole episode, and then we went to go get it approved. And I'm like, yeah, that's our logo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're pegs. But yeah, this is a good hat, man. This is really good, dude. Thank so, you. Uh, you got any uh, big plans? If you win the contest, buy more tattoos. What are you gonna do? With it? <laughs> No, I, 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 if if you know, I, I don't think I'm gonna win. I don't think I'll get that far, you know. But if if I do, you know, God willing, I will just be like, you know, investing that into more like hats, more like, hats, you know, F and F, <laughs> you know, like, no, but like F and F packs, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Well, help Ramswell make it to the second round. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. You know, it was cool to kind of get to chop it up with you, but this uh, beautiful real tree. Um, River Cat's hat is up for pre-order now, and uh, uh, make sure you tap in with him and see see how far he can get into the Hat God contest. Ramzo and Leon, we got here. Peace. Hey guys, we're back in the lab uh, today. Red Eye fifty nine fifties. How you doing today? What up, man? How you doing, brother? I'm all right. I'm all right. So Dylan, you made it into Hat God six. How does it feel? It's about time. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> how does Excited, it feel, bro? I'm excited. It's been it's been a long time coming. I've uh-huh. been watching you guys since like the the whole community bringing together teams. That's yeah. when I first heard about you guys, and I was like, "Damn, I missed out." Yeah, so yeah, then, yeah. Uh, we had that season five come up. Mm-hmm. I was miss. I missed out every single time on that one, bro. I was about like two percent off. Yeah, you yeah. guys even lowered it down to that fifty-five. Couldn't get that threshold. But now I feel like I'm back. I got a little bit more swagger. I got a little bit more love, appreciation from everybody and support. Yeah. So I feel like it's it's definitely turning. I feel like this is a Good stuff. my year to definitely get involved in the community. Good stuff. So you, you had a little bit more time to season your skills a little bit. But t- tell me a little bit more about you. Like where you're from, and uh, yeah, um, dude. So, how, how did you get involved with this? Absolutely. I was down in San Diego. Well, that's where I'm from. Um, lived there pretty much my whole entire life. Um, to be honest with you, you don't really find too many stores out in San Diego. You know, uh-huh. you really only got Capland. They're really holding yeah, it billion. down. The staple of San Diego. Um, mm-hmm. So we got a bunch of bunch of artists, designers out there that are just kind of kind of getting their name out there for San Diego. You know, so I feel like that's part of the reason. There's not too many of us down in San Diego. We don't even yeah. got a hat club. Like I said, yeah. we only got Capland out here. So yeah, uh, maybe b- billion creation. Billion yeah, creation. Billion Creation, Homegrown. Arts and Rec. Yep, Yosei Fitted, shout out to him. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, dude, I just, I got into this just really not seeing uh, a whole lot of designs that I personally would rock. Um, right. I wanted to get into it, kind of show what I have to offer for you guys. Um, I'm more into like the dark aesthetics. I'm more into like the, the warm tones. Um, like you're going to see a lot of brown graphite with me. Um, we got the, we got this thing called the red eye special. Uh, it's just a little bit of a, a white dome. Yeah. Um, it's just that's my bread and butter, man. So if you see me, it's usually in a D bags or a, a white fitted, bro. Beautiful. So are you more of a D bags fan than a Padres fan? <sighs> to be honest with you, I'm going to have to hold it down for my city. But okay. when I do see a Diamondbacks hat, I will say they got the most fire, fire stuff coming out constantly. Like mm-hmm. you got pre-orders, you got nonstop. Uh, who is it? JFG eight hundred. He's killing mm-hmm. it with all those. I probably got his name wrong, but yeah, bro. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> Shout out to no. him. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. We get to put a face to a name because. You for the longest time got that Blake Elsinore Storm logo. Yeah, bro. It's so, that no fear thing. Exactly. So I'm I say I'm from San Diego. Nobody really knows where Lake Elsinore is, bro. You only know Lake Elsinore Storm. That's about yeah. it. So Red yeah. Eye, I kind of like took my lo- or took their logo and was just like, bro, that's my hometown. I got to. <laughs> like I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one of those hats made eventually. I just gotta find the right patch for it. They got a 30th yeah. anniversary that just came out, so I got to digitize that and make it look a little bit cleaner. Okay. So. All right, cool. So let's let's get into the main event. So you got into Absolutely. Uh, Hat God with this beautiful 
St. Louis Cardinals hat. So tell me a little bit about the design. What made you want to make this? For and, sure, uh, yeah. dude. Um, so I'm going to be straight up. Um, we did have a hook on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be like saying I didn't. Um, I'm seeing a lot of other um, contestants dropping their inspo. So I'm just I'm going to be straight up with you and tell you um, it's Metro Boomins. Um, he's got that fire ass album where he's um, shaking his hand and he's on fire. So it looks like he's kind of getting out with the old and coming in with the new. It's the Heroes vs. Villains, drop of 2022. Um, mm -hmm. He's from he's from St. Louis. So I wanted to give back kind of he got me through a lot listening to those through the two years with COVID and everything and kind of coming out to light like he is in this uh, this album. Um, so that's kind of where I got it. Um, I just feel like that copper is really going to do something. It's going to stick out with that other bird kind of looking at him like, damn, you, you, you dancing, bro. So, yeah, it's Heroes versus Villains, Metro Boomin. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's break this down a little bit. So what is so, the... The front logo, are you doing like the one with the outline or is it the one with just, it's got to yeah, have an outline, so, right? Yeah, so we got a metallic black outlining on that one. Um, right, cool. With, I'm going back and forth. I, I really want to do like a glow in the dark white or a fluorescent mm -hmm. white, but I feel like the glow in the dark is going to be like that hidden little element that I feel like, oh, damn, it's glowing in the dark. It's dancing with the metallic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go out to the nightclub like Metro does. You know, that thing's going to be dancing. You're going to know who it is. All right, cool. So uh, is that a final answer? We're going glow? We're going to go. We're going to do glow. Let's do glow. Right, I feel like it's going to complement that that metallic, metallic black. Outline. Right, and a metallic black pearl. Yes. All right. And then for your patch, talk to me. Is that copper? Is that pewter? Yes. What are we what are we seeing here? So I got you up on my end as well. So I'm looking at it. Um so yes, the the bird on your left, the one where we're staring at the screen, he's got mm -hmm. metallic copper. Mm -hmm. Um he's got a little bit of warm sunshine on the toes as well warm as the toes. sunshine. Okay. And then you also got the the beak at a warm sunshine. So Kind of gives it that fiery glow that it needs to achieve that Metro Boomin mm -hmm. inspiration. Right. Um, and is this yeah. black pearl on black or black on, like, what color is this? Yeah, so we got a black, a metallic black pearl. Um, he's going to be in the, the 1964 World mm -hmm. Series, the outlining of the banner. Yeah. And then you're going to have it laying against a regular real black. Real black. Okay. Yes. Badass. We're just going to fast forward this next part here. Um, tip for all you hat makers out there. Uh, always double verify what the hat patch looks like when it's finished. So um, he had the patch, um, the digital rendering, which is cool. There were a lot of details in the, in the digital that uh, don't show up in the actual hat. So we have we ended up having to redo it. A lot of the um, parts that you want to color uh, are tied to other parts. So when you um, go to color them, you end up not being able to color it exactly how you want it in the mock-up. So we had to redo some of that work there. All right, cool. Uh, um, any last words before we uh, well, shit, send man. you off? Um... You guys saw the process. You guys saw what was going on with the patch, and I hope you guys like it. I hope it comes out, you know, looking flawless. Um, take a shot on me, you know. It <laughs> doesn't take any anything to just, you know, yeah, come out and you know just give some support. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys giving me this opportunity. Um, yeah, definitely good. stuck on words right now, but I'm just I'm just excited to get the ball rolling with you guys. No, you're good. Um, make sure you guys tap in with Dylan. This is an amazing hat. Um, you get the blacks with the darks with the metallics, and I like it, man. I'm excited for you. Good to see new oh, blood yeah. in the contest. Yes, and dude. Uh, yes. Hopefully, you got uh, big plans for um, yes. for if you get into the money round. So for Dylan and Leon. <laughs>
Get I hope some money around, bro. That's yeah, shit. exactly. That's money talks. So money talks. Bad, uh, bad mock-ups. Walk. Hey guys, we're back with some more exclusive content. We are joined today by Spa Fitted, also known as Jaden. Jaden, how are you gonna say? Good, you. Good. Glad man. to be here. All right, cool. So you beat out a couple other hundred contestants to make it into the hat god. So congratulations. Appreciate um, it. What I understand is the first time um, you've been in the tournament. Yes, sir. All right. What's it feel like? Feels great, honestly. It <laughs> doesn't really feel real. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome. <laughs> kind of welcome. crazy to me. <laughs> awesome. Welcome to the show. You've made it. Um, you got in with this beautiful um, Arizona Diamondbacks uh, cap. You've contributed to the snake pit. Um, with all the different uh, yeah, back that sure. <laughs> um, but before we get into that, um, let's kind of talk about you. Um, where are you from? How long you've been collecting for? And what made you start uh, designing hats? So I'm I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, I've been collecting hats for probably ten years, but really like fitted hats like this for maybe four or five years now. Cool. But I really just started getting into designing three, four months ago. But it's just uh, I just saw other people do it, and I thought it would be cool to make yeah. my own stuff and make what I want. You know, that's right. Who are some of your uh, favorite stores to shop with? I'd have to say Hat Club or Toppers. Cool. Are there any teams that you uh, specifically collect or anything like that? I'll collect anything, but I'm a real big San Francisco Giants fan. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 Are you a big fan of the team or? Yeah, the team. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. You guys uh, got Matt Chapman for a steal, so I'm a little bit angry yeah. <laughs> at that. But you know, it is what it is. We offered him a hundred. He took fifty-four from you. So. I know. It's crazy <laughs> <laughs> but uh all right cool uh let's get into it so you have brought to the table this uh beautiful arizona diamondback hat so let's pull it up and kind of break it down what made you want to um i mean i i for sure I, you couldn't have foreseen the influx um of diamondback hats coming but yeah what made you want to design this um uh, beautiful hat here I I cooked something up like it just a little bit ago. I just kind of rendered it a little bit. I just – it's just something I wanted made, so I thought I'd throw it in and hopefully get in with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take my chances. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's break down the design a little bit, so – it looks like you got two tone flag here. Is, is am I seeing that correct? Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So that's like a. Are you using a black or a flat black or what? what you, like a is or, that a metallic black or or just a regular black? Or so the new era. Uh, it's tonal, but the insides are metallic copper. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's do that. Want to make sure we capture all the details before we get it uh, sent to approval. So two tone flag, copper inner. All right, and then for your for your uh, okay fluorescent white. Okay, that's easy. So your um, your front logo is going to be metallic copper, fluorescent white outline or inline, metallic black pearl. Yes, sir. and then flow white. Okay, yeah, this is uh -huh. easy. And a yeah, graphite hat, pink under. Nice. Pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna this is gonna be a good one, man. Yeah, I'm um, I'm excited I'm pumped for to this. this. All right, cool. Who are who are some of your favorite designers in the game? Right now I'd I'd have to say some of the homies, uh Sav's Sav's only fitted and oh yeah, yeah, he's always putting out stuff. Not sure if you know Agust fitteds or and two hundred nine fitteds. Well, two hundred nine, I definitely know. Yeah, um, Agust. Um, he's actually in the contest. I, I have know to he do made his, it in. Yeah, yeah. I have to do his recording um, pretty soon. 
So I will know him on a more personal level. But yeah, mm-hmm. 209 for sure. Uh, he's always doing stuff. Yeah. Shout out to him. Shout and then a, him. a sneaker guy. He's, he's kind of just starting out with FNS like me, but he, he's mm-hmm. dropping some heat. That's the, I think Doug Taylor, I think is his name. Yeah. Sorry, giving away his government. I don't know if I should, but uh, we'll be recording with him tomorrow now. Hell yeah. All right, cool. All right, so it's this one. Copper. White. Metallic black. Yeah, this is easy. Yeah, you did a good job here. Um, yeah, man. Any last words before we, uh, we part? You have anything to say to the people to make sure that they pre-order your hat? Just want to thank you so much for the opportunity, but mm-hmm. I if you, if you like the hat, go ahead and cop it when it's up, up for pre-order. I, I wouldn't sleep on it if I were you. I don't know. I think <laughs> it'll be pretty good in hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope you got some big plans yep. Um, for if you got – if you, you get into the – the winning oh shoot we gotta redo your back hold on a second so definitely MLB, some big plans but yeah make it past ML, the first round the MLB logo so we could do it kind of like how you have it but it has to change a little bit gotcha so if you do the flow inner I mean if you do the yeah the flow white inner the outline has to stay white but then that you can add a copper link on top of that. So I'm not sure if that's how you want it. Hold on. My computer's struggling. One sec. Good. I gotta close some stuff. I have too much shit open. All right. So if you do that, you're gonna have to do it. So it would look like that, basically, but with the copper. Got you. I see what you're saying. So it'd be like that. Um, and then you have it, was it black? Then? Black on the inside. Yeah, black pearl on the inside. So it would be like this. Or you could just keep keep it without the copper. Or you could do a copper fill. Yeah, the perfect. Uh-huh. Uh, I kind of like that. I don't know. What do you think? Do people like what? What would that look like in hand? You think? I think it will hurt the sales for it. To be honest, got you. People yeah, don't like the outline for sure. No, so I would, for sure. I would either for you. I would either keep it like that. If you feel like there's not enough color, then I would just. Uh-huh. I would just do this. All right, no, I would do this. Nope, I lie. I would do <laughs> this, yeah, and then you if you could do it like this, something like that, if you wanted to, or like this, or yeah, that let's do the let's do it like that with the white in the on the right side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that. All right. Perfect. Small adjustments. We want to make sure we get it cl- as close to For sure. how you have it as possible, but then still make make a good product. All right, cool. Sure. Make sure you guys tap in with Jaden. Help him get to the second round. Um, I love seeing new blood in the game. So keep keep creating, keep doing your thing, man. This is a this is a great hat. I can't wait to see it um, get into your hands. Thanks so much, right. man. I appreciate you guys. No problem. For Jaden and Leon, we out of here. Peace. See you. Hey guys, we are back. So today we'll be talking with uh, Vibe with Boogie. Boogie, you What's made it, on, everybody. <laughs> you made you it past it, a couple hundred people. You're in the Hat God competition for the first time. So congratulations on yeah, making it this that. far. Appreciate um, that. How do you feel? 
man. I feel like it's a fucking roller coaster, man. This is, <laughs> this is amazing. Everybody's, you know, it's a tough line and everything like that. We may have yeah. a fucking um snail race. Yeah. Over what, 200 plus people, you know, we made it here, but we here. Shout yeah, out to so everybody that's here. You made it out the snail race and you've jumped into the <laughs> snake pit. We'll see yeah. if you make it out alive. Um, you got in with a beautiful uh, Atlanta Braves hat, so we'll break down that design in a little bit. But before we do that, um, let's get the people to know a little bit more about you. So um, where are you from? How long have you been collecting hats for? And what made you kind of uh, want to start designing? Um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised and everything, you know, I collect Yankees and, um, Diamondbacks, but I branch off to a lot of different, you know, different hats and everything, you know, I'm not. All right. All right. So you had to pick, um, uh, uh, you picked an Atlanta hat, but that's, mm -hmm. that's a, that's a subtle nod to the Yankees because the Yankees were Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, you know, but, you know, <laughs> I, I had to show love somehow. Yeah, yeah. So, what, know, what, what are some time. of the favorite? What are some of your favorite uh, stores to cop from? I go to um, Toppers, Birdines, Hat Club, My Fitted, Pro Image. I double and dabble with everything, you know. Okay. Who are some of your favorite designers? Um, gotta go with John J. Yeah. And DC. Joey. And, Joey. Um, yeah. Good names. Good names. All Just right, cool. two. Of course. That's the, that's the guy right there. Yeah. I'll be. Uh, I'll be. Uh, we're gonna be out there three one three day in Detroit. Mm. Uh, him and Goose. So me and Jess got an Airbnb together with a Holy couple shit. Of folks. So I'm gonna see him this week. So oh, no, shout no. to Justin. Shout out to the crew guy. Yeah, um, that's the guy right there. Shout out to Big PB and J man. Yeah, for sure. All right. So let's break down this Brave set. So like like I said earlier. <laughs> Little nod to the Yankees with the Braves. Yeah, yeah I, I know, man. But you know, you I, I I had to get out of my comfort zone and you know give out a mm -hmm. good taste of to the Braves and stuff. All right, cool. So let's break this down. Tell me a little bit more about this design. Um, you know, it has a, a good two tone scarlet red. You know, uh, in the in the burn um, wood. Yeah, burn wood and the patch. We got the um. We got the chrome, we got the metallic red, we got the um the chrome too, and the metallic rush. All right, cool. Let me pull pull the colors. And I'm gonna see my tape guide, so let me just get it here mm -hmm. real quick. Uh how long have you been um kind of at this floor? Uh design design wise. Oh, oh, you... Five months, five or six months and everything okay. like that. What what's yeah. your process like? What do you what do you design on? Oh, to like be honest, a tablet uh, or you on a, on a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do uh procreate and stuff like that, so I see. Oh, you're what, a tablet guy, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay cool. How, how, how long does it take you to do do a mock up? Actually, it, it depends if I'm really stuck on it and deciding like what to do, what colors look good, mm -hmm. and everything. But if I have like an idea, I'm I'm already on it and stuff like that. But if I'm sitting on it, you know, it's gonna take me a little while. So approximately like an hour, hour one thirty. Damn. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, you well, get I'm, that I'm time good. down. I'm, Five I'm, months I'm, in, you get that time down. Yeah, I'm getting there, man. You know. All right. Uh oh, pink under. All right, cool. Pink under. Let me get the pink. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Almost defaulted to gray. So we got pink in there. We got the nani patch. With the red. Yes, All right. You mentioned potentially changing the batterman. What do you want to do with it? Um, for the outline, can we make it um chrome? Mm -hmm. And for yeah. the metallic red, can we can we just make it pink? Can we? Okay. Let's cool. See. All right. Let me get the. Uh... Let me get the threads. So you said we need to pull out gold rush, you said? Yeah, and just make the chrome. And for the um for the metallic red, we can make that uh pink on the right hand side. Yeah. But I mean like the colors that we're gonna need. So we're gonna need gold rush, we're gonna need metallic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my bad, my bad. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> for me, I got I gotta pull all the colors first and then we'll oh, just yeah. start using them so you said chrome mm -hmm. uh mud pie so mud pie is the match to the 
wood. Yeah. Uh, burnt wood. Mud pie. You'll see here, mud pie is almost black. So you can make it lighter if you want to, but this is the match to the, the fabric. Okay. Uh, gold, red. Yeah, we're pretty good chrome. All right. So for the batterman. You're going to switch it. So we're going to go chrome batterman. Red, gold, you said? Mm hmm Yeah, the gold rush. All right. So, white, chrome. Oh, no, you said you wanted pink, right? Yeah, on the right-hand side. All right, let me get the pink. Pink 5523. And what's on the left side? Gold? Um, yeah, the, for the outline. Oh, for the outline gold. And then what's on yeah. the left side here? Oh, you could keep the brown. That's fine. Keep brown, all right. Pretty sure, too. That's an easy switch. Okay. Cool. Mm. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I hope you got big plans. Uh, if you end up dethroning, um, yeah, man. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is one step closer, man. Anything you want to say to the people before we sign off? Um, appreciate you, everybody for tuning in. Shout out to Leon the Live, you know. Um, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you cop that hat. It's gonna be a yeah. great gift for your. You know, significant other or your children or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, by <bye> forever. <laughs> family, the moms, the, the crowd, yeah, everybody, you know. Everybody. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good surprise if you bring that to them for sure. Yeah. All right, man. I love seeing new blood in the competition. I like seeing returning people in the competition too, but I like uh people having fun with this. So yeah, um, man. Guys, it's, it's experience, man. It's, I love the experience and everything. Yeah. Awesome, man. I can't wait for you to get this hat in hand, man. This is this is a, a good looking hat. So for yeah. Boogie and Leon, we out of here. All right, Thank man. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, and we're back. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching those seven stories and getting to know those seven designers. Um, just to review, uh, that is the um conclusion of week uh five, round one. So that's 27 designers, 27 hats um that have hit pre-order so uh, not an easy task um but yeah we got it done not a, not how we drew it up we kind of condensed the last uh, four or five weeks into two weeks but you know at least we get to finish this tournament so just to review uh these were the hats you just saw so first off we had uh five two zero cap collector parker parker had the upside down arizona dive back um hat with the inago season patch smooth smooth hat uh black green with a green um uv uh solid copper and metallic greens all around really really solid hat uh then we had uh jew fitted um he originally had the drippy <coughs> uh, houston astros logo but that wasn't available in the small version so he opted for a batterman so 05 loser patch with the Texas State with the uh, Broken Star. Really, really smooth out here. Uh, Nico Sosa, last year's um, finalist and uh, back for another round. So he brought this uh, black and red uh, copper Baltimore Orioles with the 50th anniversary side patch, green under, solid, solid hat. Uh, glad to see Nico in the contest again. Uh, Ramzo uh, brought the only minor league hat into the um, battle. So Sacramento River Cats, uh, black with uh, real tree, uh, red underneath, uh, AAA um, baseball side patch, really, really solid minor league offering here from Ramzo. Uh, Red Eye 5950s brought this uh, St. Louis Cardinals 1964 hat, black graphite, gray under, uh, solid, solid hat all around. Spa fitted another Arizona Diamondbacks upside down logo, but this time with the 10th year anniversary of their 
um, of their team. Um, uh, gray with a pink under, two-tone flag, copper, really, really smooth hat. And then rounding out the uh, field vibe with Boogie brought this uh, Atlanta Braves loser patch 1999 World Series uh, black walnut. I'm sorry, red walnut with a pink under. Really, really smooth hat. Um, and again, these will be up for pre-order until Wednesday, 10 p.m. Mountain Time. And then we're going to turn around and uh, get round two started on Friday. So looking to end this um, contest really, really quickly. Um, $2,500 is at stake, plus another 1000 for second place. And then um, third place will get $500. So uh, that is round one. So if you like any of these um, hats, pre-order them now. They'll arrive really, really soon. And if you don't, then save your money for the round two um, round because some of those hats there uh, that we well, we made are, are excellent hats too. So uh, without further ado, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>